Uh, didn't mean for the flash to come on, but it's on. So, Game of Thrones, Iron Throne, Blonde Ale. It was for season three originally, but it came back this fall, and I never had it when it was out before. I think I can turn this flash off. Can I? Maybe I can't. Okay, whatever. Okay. I think we might need a flash anyway. So, yeah, it's a little dark open here. this shit and pour it. Oh, really? So yeah, this and the Take the Black Stout from season four have come back for the fall. Oh yeah. Oh shit. Oh my gang, of course. Did you want me to read the, what it says on here? Uh, sure. Blondale with malty sweetness and a touch of fruity spiciness, noble hop aromas and notes of citrus suitable to serve to kings or pretenders to the Iron Throne. Or slowly, so as not to disturb the yeast <laughs> sediment, but with enough vigor to create a luxurious head and release the rich bouquet. Who would you consider the pretender to the Iron Throne? Or pretenders? I mean, technically, Joffrey. Man, this was. Uh, not pouring so much. Slow, nicely. go slow. Slow. Slow, slow. Quick, quick, slow. There you go. It's looking pretty good. Well, oh, you're getting see. you're getting rambunctious. No, but this is a this is a luxurious head. This is this is what they're talking about. A luxurious head. You see that luxurious? All righty, try it. Doesn't you don't look all that impressed? No. Well, what the fuck, Oma Gang? Oma Gang's usually, they make good shit. It's not that it's bad. It's really yeasty, though. Yeah? I would say so. It's very, like, thick I, and bready. Yeah, I don't see very carbonated. sediment in it, but I see a lot of Very, very carbonated. Okie dokie. I like that. You like it? Oh, yeah. I feel like it's a little bready for a blonde. It is, but I like that. Okay. I like. I mean, the, it's the not. Whole I, it's not that it. I disliked it. It's just that I wasn't very impressed. I feel like I've had a million things taste like that. Mm. Mm hmm. I agree with that. I don't think it stands out like, you know, a week or a month from now I won't be like, oh man, we should Remember get more that? of that. Yeah. I just be like, it was an alright beer. Um. I, I feel like, which, not a bad thing, but, you know, it's kind of like an Aflagym sort of thing. It's, you know, it's got a Belgian blonde sort of vibe to it. Um, yeah, I mean, uh, there's not that much to say about it, because usually I kind of expect the specialty ones, the one-off for, for Game of Thrones special or whatever, to be mo a little more interesting i guess yeah you know what i mean that's kind of my thought it was i like, like it though it's yeah exactly but i'm just kind of like well i've tasted that before not overly impressed but it's it's a good beer i'm not disappointed but i'm not impressed Fair so i i would give this one for going one to ten or zero to ten is how we go yeah um I want to say... Oh. <laughs> oh calzones. Um, give it like... Seven... One more second. <laughs> seven and a half. It's pretty good, uh, but not, not great. Nothing mm. to write home about. I think I'm going to seven on it. So, it's... This has been the Omegang Game of Thrones Iron Throne Blonde Ale. That's beautiful. Big D signing off.